Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Gooch, and I am here with another video review, and this is one of those products that I've already done an unboxing of, and now, about a week later, I am doing the full review after I've had this. So, this is the Neato BotVac D5 Connected Series, which they're kind of mid-grade level. Uh, they have they technically have one more model above this. Um, and it is, well, exactly what it is. It's a robotic vacuum. So, I'm going to kind of go through what I like and what I don't like about this, but to get the long part story short, for what it is, it's awesome. Now, is this a replacement vacuum for your standard vacuum? No, it is not. Uh, what it is, is it's a great way to keep your house maintained in between your deep cleaning cycles. Um, now, deep cleaning would buy, what I would say is with an actual vacuum. This will basically lengthen the time that you would typically go between deep cleaning cycles. Great way to maintain at least the surface dirt off of the carpet um, and get anything off of hardwood floors or, or tiles, things like that. Um, but it's not going to get really deep down because obviously limited amount of suction when you have a battery operated vacuum, especially one that's going to go over the carpet in each area once, not multiple times. So that said, um, I've gotten kind of putting it to the maximum test. Now, first of all, I'm going to have videos kind of showing in here, in and out here as we go. But first of all, I have two Huskies. So two Siberian Huskies, they shed a decent amount, especially at this time of year. One of them sheds definitely more than the other um, because of the type of uh, undercoat they have. Um, but essentially what I get is a lot of hair and hair bulk, I mean, clogs up vacuums like crazy. Now, of course, if I go several days without vacuuming, the carpet starts to look like it's growing hair itself. That's how much hair a Husky sheds. Um, so uh, yeah, that longer hair, not short hair stuff. So with these vacuums, um, doing a, a once daily cleaning will fill up the tub. Now this, I have not cleaned this vacuum. This vacuum is dirty because I've been using it. I've been using it at least once a day. Um, the first couple days I had it I actually did two client cleanings a day because like I said, I have, I'm using this to its maximum. So ever since I got this, I had not vacuumed my floors probably for three days. Cause so they were fairly hairy. And I have not used my other vacuums one time since I've had this. And I will be honest with you, my carpets are actually pretty darn clean. Um, do I think that if I put my main vacuum on, do I, I will definitely get probably another tub full. But uh, that's the deep down stuff more than anything else. This will definitely get all of the stuff off the surface for the most part. Um, now, hair, it will fill up this container. That The one thing about this is I really wish this container was about you know 20 to 50% larger. Of course, the bigger the better in my opinion. Of course, if you go a larger container, then you gotta go a larger uh, filter, larger filter, meaning, well, more expensive filter. And that said, this is something on these vacuums, on most robotic vacuums, they have a paper, a, a replaceable filter. This is one of those things that you will replace about every month, depending on uh, how big your house is and depending on how often you use the robot, right? Um, but I already have some dust kind of build up in here. Um, now, I will say that this one specifically, it did kind of separate in here a little bit, so I think I'm getting a little bit back in there, but I'm getting dust built up on the inside. It is not coming through. Uh, the only dust on here is actually when I remove, uh, and I'll show you here in a second, when I actually remove this um, from here, I do actually clean out the, uh, this is kind of where it comes from, the actual head of the vacuum and sucks up into the, fill, into the container there. Um, I have Huskies, and so if this bin gets too full, I start getting hair that kind of gets right in here. It doesn't really clog the vacuum, but it definitely reduces its performance. And so every time I kind of clean this out, when I clean this out, I get dust in here, and that dust in there then portrays over to dust around the container itself. So um, I have not cleaned this at all. I really wanted to do this a full on showing what it looks like after a week of use without me maintaining even the vacuum. It charges itself and it gets used. I have not really cleaned this at all other than cleaning out the bin. I clean the bin, I dump the bin every time. I shake out, I, at least I hit this uh, a few times at least every time, but I have not even done this in this one. If you, I would say uh, with the filter to make it last longer every time or every so many times you vacuum, take it outside and give it a good beating because you will get dust that comes out of the filter. So, uh, and I did not beat it this last time. I really want to show you the best I can with this review video. Um, underside, this is the other item that you do have to clean. Now this I did clean after that my last vacuum series, which I, I vacuumed last night. Uh, this tends to get some hair built up and I'll show you this on a video as well. Um, 
the hair that you, is just like any other vacuum. You'll just have to come down here and they do give you a little comb brush that basically pulls it out. I didn't bring it down. Um, but it's a little comb that you kind of comb the hair out. Uh, this little side winder brush actually attaches magnetically over here. So uh, that's what kind of gets away from the baseboard. Uh, and then to clean that off, you can just kind of pull the hairs off or whatever like that and then just stick it back on. So really quick and easy way to replace it. this. This brush head is replaceable as well. You can buy these and uh, eventually you will replace it. I don't know if I have a set amount of times per se. Um, they probably have recommendations. I haven't looked into that to be honest. Uh, but it's like any vacuum, you will replace the head if you want it to actually maintain its deep cleaning capability. But the brush head's gonna last a lot longer than the uh, paper filter that's on the actual bin. Um, wheels uh, have this rubber on them. They are incredibly powerful motors and the rubber on the wheels sticks to carpet and flooring very, very well. So this has no problem with traction of getting around. Um, even the thickest carpet that you will have, it will have no problem getting around. I will tell you that honestly real quick. Uh, that was the big thing that I was wondering because I do have a couple rooms yet. And I know uh, I haven't replaced the carpet in them yet because we just don't know what we're going to do because we're going to be painting walls. We're going to do everything. We're going to do all that stuff before we replace the carpet. And I have some like old 70s shag carpet, which has those long strands to it. This does not have a problem going through that. Now, shag carpeting, when you use a vacuum on it, you get some of the shags that comes out of it. So yes, some of that does get rolled up in the actual head itself. Um, but that said, that's as simple as it gets. Uh, if you ever actually need to plug this in, they do. it does come with a USB uh, adapter. So if you need to plug this in for maintenance or, or whatever to your computer, which I have never had to do, the USB port's actually underneath where the bin is here in the corner. Other than that, you have uh, the bump sensors, which are all around the front. So they have a front sensor, and then this can even go side to side so it knows where it's going in the room. They also have uh, an infrared sensor here off to the side. If you actually do like a night vision camera, you can actually see this guy um, maneuvering around. You can see the light blaring out of this infrared sensor. So it knows if it's against the wall or not. It's basically what that infrared sensor is allowed because it goes basically counterclockwise around the room edge first. So you can see the, the vacuum. You see how everything kind of goes together here. Um, there is a play pause button right up here up front, so if you want to uh, start this without your phone, you can. Uh, however, you can also do uh, control this with your Amazon Echo series speakers. Uh, anything that has the uh, Alexa Assistant built into it, you can actually start, pause, and send this back to base. Uh, so I'm going to show you that real quick right now. Alexa, tell Nito to pause. Okay, pausing, Finn. Alexa, tell Nito to resume. Okay, resuming Finn. Uh, tell Nito to return to base. Okay, docking Finn. So that's how you use it with the Amazon Echoes or Amazon's Alexa Assistant. So pretty sweet in that regard. Uh, I do have the, this is the charging base that comes with it. Uh, basically they give you a power cord, a way to run the power cord and then plenty of attachment to run it uh, wherever you put it. So I, I set this underneath uh, one of our plants, plant stands. That's where we had it. Kind of same place we actually had our Christmas tree earlier this year. Plug it into the wall and she takes off and starts and stops here. So, as all robotic vacuums, if you start it at the base station, it'll clean your house. Everywhere that it can reach, it will clean. And it'll only return to base to charge uh, when either A, 
Uh, the battery gets down to the point where it's about to die, so it wants to charge before it dies. So it'll stop cleaning, it'll go back to charge, and then it'll go back to where it left off to continue cleaning. Or it'll go back to base when it's done cleaning. So when it actually finishes 100% of the areas that it ha has the capability of reaching within your home, it will then go back to base and charge all automatically. And on the app, you will get uh, notified when it actually is doing all of those items. Now you can start and stop the actual cleaning cycles from the app itself. Um, so within the Neato app, you have complete control on the vacuum, as well as being able to see where it actually has cleaned in the past as well. So I'm gonna show you that in the app. Okay, so here within the app here real quick, just to show you, uh, we actually called our robot Finn, which you can actually do here in the settings within the app. Uh, cleaning options, we can actually do a house clean. We can also do what's called a spot clean. Spot clean is literally if we click on this uh, and head back and start, wherever we drop the robot, you don't have to start it from the charging base, just drop the robot where you need to clean and it'll clean a four foot by six foot section. Now it's still gonna use its sensor to find its way around, but it's gonna uh, just clean a small section of your house rather than the entire room. Um, I'm gonna go back to whole house cleaning. You can also turn on extra care for gentle navigation. I've never actually done that. Um, obviously it just probably takes its time a little bit closer so it uh, doesn't ruin anything or damage anything. Um, and then you can just start. You can also go into the settings here to see how it cleaned the last. So we can see all of our cleaning cycles various house cleanings that I've done. Uh, this is one that I obviously stopped it midway through. Um, and you can always play, pause everything from here. So when I hit start, uh, now at the pause or stop section, I can hit stop and it'll stop right away. Uh, but all the, that those controls are in here. Uh, if you had more than one vacuum, you can see more vacuums in here. I only have the one, um, and that's that. And then my robot, uh, you can actually go in uh, to, I think it's, Actually, within the, maybe it was in the robots. This is where you can hit the settings of the robot and change its name and, and dirt bin reminders and everything like that. So that's that. The other thing you do get that separates a little bit different than other vacuums out there is this. And this, all this is, is a piece of magnetic tape, essentially. It does not have adhesive on it. You lay this on the floor where you don't want the, the vacuum to go. Um, so... Where I have used this, I've used this twice so far uh, because I can't tell it uh, what room to start in or what room to do. And I just wanted, all I wanted to do was vacuum the kitchen real quick. So what I did is uh, the base that I have is right outside the kitchen. I just laid this between the base and the doorway to the kitchen and it cleaned from the base all the way through the kitchen and then docked itself and went back, right? Um, I've all, so that was kind of one test I did. Uh, the big thing that I do is there's a hallway that leads to our bedroom section. Uh, there are two nights now that I actually put this tape down uh, at the beginning of that hallway so that it couldn't go down that hallway. So it, it, there's no door there. So then I just hit play when I went to bed and it cleaned the entire house up to the bedroom section because I didn't want it coming down the hallway towards the bedroom section where you could actually really hear it. Uh, now, of course, you can still hear it a little bit, but this little guy is awesome. It's, uh, they give you about six and a half feet worth of it. But it's just a magnetic tape. I'm sure that you can actually purchase more of this. If uh, if I can find a link, I will post it below um, from Nito. Uh, but it's just magnetic tape. That's all it is. Uh, I've also already used it once uh, by my entertainment center because my lower shelf on my TV stand is really close to the floor. I mean, literally a half inch uh, or maybe three quarters of an inch. And the vacuum will easily go up on top of the shelf and clean the shelf for me, which is a really big deal. Uh, it runs into my... Nintendo Switch down there, maybe my one of my uh, router extenders, but that's it. It doesn't hurt anything. I don't have any cables that stick out. But uh, I throw this. I threw this in, uh, basically underneath the lip of the shelf, and then it didn't go up on the shelf the next time. So uh, kind of neat. I actually might get a second one so that I could permanently put one on my entertainment section on my entertainment stand, so it never goes up on the shelf. Um, but did, then again, it really hasn't really done any damage. It does it cleans the shelf for me, I guess maybe. But that is the magnetic. Uh, I guess boundary tape is essentially basically what it is. So that's the app. That's how the app works. Um, and in all, in everything that I, all the testing that I've done with this, uh, the downsides to it. Um, number one downside is it doesn't clean the best against the edge. And I'm not going to say that I know of very many vacuums that can do that without getting like a, like an attachment to the vacuum to really get into the crevice between like the carpet edge and the baseboard. There is 
no vacuum that does it fantastically but uh the robots i you know because they can't see exactly what they've cleaned um that's the one item that you will notice i think more dirt buildup or hair buildup in my case than anywhere else is it along the edge and in deep breach corners uh yes the shape of the vacuum does get into corners better than some other rounded vacuums I will definitely give it that, but no matter what, you will have to clean the corners or against the edge more, uh, you know, when you do your deep cleaning cycles, that's one part that you'll definitely want to hit more than any other. Uh, it does a really good job of actually finding its way around the room, actually way better than I actually anticipated. Uh, and the mapping of the room is awesome. Uh, the bin, I think, I, like I said, I think could be bigger. Um, and I, you know, more vacuums are doing the paper filters currently. I think we're going to see here in the next uh, five years or so more push towards cyclonic vacuums. There are a couple of these out here that are cyclonic, so you don't get the, the buildup against the filter. Um, and I think that's only going to be a plus. Now, of course, that's as battery li life and battery technology gets better, we're going to see more powerful suction robotic vacuums. But to start out, Neato did an awesome job on this. I definitely commend them for creating a fantastic robotic vacuum. Is it perfect? It is not perfect, um, but it is pretty cool. Now, one other thing that I think that um, I don't, I, the, the Series Up might be able to do, but I don't know specifically. I'd have to look into that maybe a little more. But the one thing I really wish is you, you saw the map that you get on your phone of where it had cleaned or where it actually did the cleaning. I really wish that while it was cleaning, you could actually look on that map real time to see where the vacuum is and what it had or has already cleaned. Um, I think that's one big item that is missing from this vacuum because you can't. Once you start cleaning, it's not going to show you what it cleaned until it's finished and back to base, number one, or it gets stuck somewhere. Uh, now, I've actually had this stuck twice um, where it called out for help for me. Actually, three times. I'm sorry. Um, one is on the very first time I cleaned, I purposefully left junk all over the place. And the only thing that caught it caught up was a sock. The sock got wound up into the brush head and it stopped basically stopped itself from damaging itself and it's it called out for help whenever it calls out for help saying hey i'm stuck it's it shows you the map of where it has actually cleaned and where it actually is and that's the only time you'll actually get that map prior to it being completed and back on the charging dock now they do have a secondary mode what they call spot cleaning mode spot cleaning mode is if you don't want to start it at the base and let it clean everything and then go back to base if you just want to have you know what i have a, a dirty section of the floor i just wanted to clean that dirty section section Take this, take it to the dirty section, go into the app, change it to spot clean mode, and hit go. And it'll clean basically what they say a four foot by six foot section. That's essentially what it's going to do. Uh, so any spot mode is just small section of, of carpeting or flooring or whatever you have that you want to clean up. So I think I've covered most of my uh, story, at least with the Neato bot back, uh, the D5. Uh, I have nothing but mostly great things to say there are a few things that i think that they de definitely need to work on um specifically the app i think having it showing your, your the current place where it actually is i think would be an awesome feature and i don't think that's going to be too hard i think they could almost do that as a software update so uh, if there's one thing that i wish that that Nito would actually release is that capability but that said guys um that is the Nito botback d5 if you have any questions on this at all please post those below subscribe to the channel let me know what you think share the video and uh hopefully i'll have more videos in the future like this so thanks for watching and we'll catch you on a future one see you later